Hey there, I'm Angela Sharp with STL TV, and I'm joined today by Brandon Vaughn and Tef Poe. They're here to talk about the third annual 100 Coats for 100 Kids. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you so much, Angela. Okay, so this is great. So, uh, Brandon, you are a fashion designer. You've got all the hot items out there on Cherokee Street. Yes, that's me, located at 2604 Cherokee. I design everything in store and sell it out front in the studio. Oh, I love that. Okay, yeah. so do you do also design very specifically for the human? Um, you can. I can. Well, I did pattern making for seven years in the industry before I came home and opened up my own boutique. So if you can dream it, I can make it. Oh, see, I love hearing that. And, and Tef, you're a very well-known rap artist here in the area. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, music has always been a passion of mine. I'm known throughout St. Louis, throughout the country, and certain portions of the world for making music, but bringing things back to my community is also a thing that I'm known for as well, and that's what this Coat Drive is about. Okay, so with the Coat Drive, you are one of the co-founders of Black Men Build, and you guys kind of joined up together to do 100 coats for 100 kids. Why is this important to you guys? Um, this whole thing started in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, and I'm blessed, uh, I was blessed to be successful and still maintain and make a profit in the middle of the pandemic. Which is saying a lot. Which is saying a, a huge deal. And I kind of felt like, you know, we got to do something. So I called my homie and was like, you know, we got to do this. You know, you get other people involved so you have accountability. And you really make the thing move because uh, you can't do it by yourself. And he hit the ground running. He called Black Men Bill, you know, to do the, the muscle work to, you know, protect and to serve and to hand out the coats the day of. And uh, that's what we did. We hit the social media and we started asking for donations and set the date. And it exploded. The first one was a massive success. I think we had maybe 300 plus people on Cherokee. Yeah. Um, and, and we knew we had something. We knew we had to keep doing this. Well, absolutely. I mean, everybody knows that people are struggling, especially now more than ever, post-pandemic. There's a lot of people out of work. And we always feel bad for kids, especially yeah. in the cold weather. Yeah. Yeah. So I think what you guys are doing is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So <laughs> you guys are also doing something else on Saturday. Not only are you going to be giving out these 100 coats to the 100 kids, but you got other businesses involved. So talk a little bit about so that. So we got Burger 809 uh, joining us again. The very first year, what she did was incredible. She gave each kid a meal to go with their coat. Nice. Um, and we have the fattened calf. They're going to pull out the barbecue pit um, and barbecue some stuff up. Uh, we got Angel Boutique uh, on deck. Um, we got Action STL on deck. Uh, and we just go serve the community, uh, keep these babies warm, you know? And that's important. And you know, like if, if your family's unable to afford a coat, you might also need a meal. So it's kind of right. nice that people can kind of right. come to this day, get the coat, get right. the meal, and kind of start you off on a great start to winter. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, the very first year, uh, a story that touched me, it was a lady, she had four kids newborn baby and she came up and told us like I had no idea how I was going to be able to afford coats mm -hmm. and um, she came in and we you know gave her four coats and she was so yeah. grateful it's those moments that we why we keep doing it you know? and the thing that makes our drive different than a lot of drives is the fact that we stress brand new garments with him being a fashion designer myself being a hip-hop artist we know the the value of feeling clean, feeling good, you know, dressing the part. Um, and, and also, you know, when, when I was coming up as a youth in St. Louis, my family depended on stuff like this sometimes in order for us to eat, in order for us to have brand new clothes. And, you know, it's, it's something for, I, I just really want to stress for the artistic community out there to think about, um, we ask a lot of the, the community. We're always stressing that the community doesn't support the talent, doesn't support the arts. But what are we actually giving back to the community to cause them to find necessity to support us? So uh, that's just something I want to throw out there. That's what yeah. we're about. And uh, we're just going to keep building on that legacy. Well, you know, and I didn't realize that. And you're, you're not wrong. I mean, everybody, if you can have a hand-me-down coat, that's great, too. But there is something a little special about that, that brand it's, new coat. It's yours. You know, mm -hmm. I came up, when I was coming up, we shopped at a thrift store. And that's part of the reason why I became a designer, because I did not like wearing uh, used clothes. So I started taking those clothes apart, creating something that was original so, you know, I wouldn't be talked about. And right. I don't want to pass that on to a kid. I want a kid to be able to put on a coat and they know that it was theirs. It's it, it's their own. It was their own to start with. Yeah. Where are you guys getting these coats? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you see me on social media, rating stores, people, uh, 
Uh, I'm stopping, taking pictures with folks. They're like, are you Tef Poe at the store? I'm like, yeah, this is 100 coats. You want to help us out and buy some coats? Yes. <laughs> but, yeah. And, so, and yeah. my clients, um, I have a, a very large client base. And once I get on social media, they're yeah. all coming knocking with, with coats. We're blessed to be uh, friends in, in a sense that we, we came up together um, and we motivated each other to keep going in our respective fields. Yeah. Uh, and now we're in a position where the things that we have built are able to have an impact, able to meet yes. each other in the road, and able to do some dynamic things with each other outside of just the typical sphere of entertainment, the typical sphere of, uh, you know, arts for art's sake. Uh, you know, I think we're we're trying to be cutting edge. We're pushing the limits on what's possible in the in the range of just waking people up and saying, you know, if we can activate and come together and do something positive, this can really be a wave of solid energy that transforms the way we think interact and treat each other and it doesn't just have to be during the holidays right I, I mean that's most important part I think right there now this is happening this Saturday this Saturday now I know 10th. you already have your 100 coats but I'm sure if somebody wanted to donate some more coats you would find a hundred uh, 102 people then if they yeah. oh, had yeah. two extra yeah. coats yeah. so anybody wh where would they go to donate a coat or donate money for you to help provide those codes. Um, they can go to brandonvon.com and connect with us, or they can come up to the storefront, 2604 Cherokee Street, and we need coats. Every year we've went over, uh, we've given over 150 coats. Oh, wow. So it's, we always have a large turnout, um, and then the coats that we don't give away, um, there's other families. Yeah. We drop them at churches that, the, like throughout the year, that they mm -hmm. need them. So we like to just have them on and, and with Black Men Build, we're always doing community uh, driven things. We're always out, uh, in, on, especially on, on Martin Luther King Drive. People have always seen us out there. We're cleaning up trash. We're, we're beautifying the community. We're, we're taking the undesirables of the community and giving them a home and saying, hey, if you want to do something constructive with your life, we have a program, we have a format that can provide that space well, for you. Well, give me just a little Cliff Notes version of Black Man Build if somebody uh, sure. doesn't know about that. Uh, well, um, uh, there was a group of, 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 of very uh, inquisitive black women that were wondering where have the men gone in the community? Where are they at? And they started to ask questions and fill around and then they brought myself and a couple other people who were known for having a presence in the community together to start asking a series of questions about how do we start to bring you guys together and make something that, that men feel comfortable coming to and participating in a wholesome, healthy, uh, you know, non messed up type of way with all the different things we know going on in the world concerning cancel culture, me too, this, that, that, and that. How do we make something constructive for men that actually turns them into a vessel of good in the community? Uh, and so this was started in that name. We, we, we did a lot of hard work in the, in the early days to really figure it out. Like, you know, and, and some people see us as a political space, but it's really not. It's a space for uh, spiritual atonement is what I feel. It's became okay. a, a place for me to really find wholesome, uh, ways to contribute to things that are on my mind. So uh, we're all across the country right now. Uh, we're it's in huge. Miami, we're in uh, St. Louis, we're in New York, uh, we're in Milwaukee, Milwaukee uh, Atlanta. So if you just go to the website, you can find a place uh, that you can connect with Black Men Build nationally. I love that. Okay, so definitely check them out. Um, let's talk about your design shop one more time. Mm -hmm. Cherokee Street, where is it at? 2604 Cherokee Street. And they can follow online, I assume, right? Yes, uh, BrandonVon.com or social media is BrandonVon Collection on uh, Instagram. And then Tef, can they follow you personally? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Follow me on Instagram, T-E-F underscore P-O-E. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Tef Poe. Um, yeah, and get at me on TikTok, too. I'm just getting on TikTok. Oh, you know the TikTok. Yeah. Are, you, are you doing the dances? <laughs> I don't know yet. You know. Okay, he's not sure yet. But this 100 Coats for 100 Kids is happening this Saturday. Where is this located? It is right in front of the store, 2604. Okay, um, 2604. You can find it right there. And is it a first-come, first-serve kind of situation, or have you already hand-selected some kids? No, just first-come, first-serve. Yeah. If you need a coat and you're lined up, you're going to leave with a coat. And it turns into a block party, too. It's, it's, it's all about the love with us, man. You know, I think a lot of people, you just got to come check it out. And, and You know, there's, there's people... Even if you don't need a coat, just nah, come just check come it out. Check it just out. come and, and, and volunteer. Right. You, know. you guys would love a volunteer. Oh, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, or, or some extra coats. Definitely check it out. I think this is very important, giving kids coats, especially brand new coats. It gives you a little bit of a, a pep in your step, right? A little right? Bias, yes. when you go to school. Love it. <laughs> uh, definitely check out 100 Coats for 100 Kids happening this Saturday. Keep it right here on STL TV and Experience St. Louis.